Hope you're all still awake. Late night mega here. And oh, we should go to move. So here's one issue I have with uh, Mega Man Legends 2. Remember in the first game when they said the world was mostly water? Well, there seems to be quite a bit. Actually, there seems to be less land than I remember. I remember there being a lot more land than this. Well, it still didn't feel as watery as what they made it seem. But I guess it's okay. Well, uh, we're going to go to Forbidden Island. I do like that you get to, like, take the flutter and fly around the world map. You know, there's not much to it, but uh, it's a nice touch. Are you ready, Mega Man? Yep. Okay, here we go. I'm not ready. I don't have a helmet. Well, I suppose it does make sense to go to Forbidden Island kind of early with uh, Gramps and a Blucher being in danger. We should probably go help them. And we're going through a snowstorm area. Mega now, Man, in the. Mega Man, are you right? Oh, we're gonna do this again, Roll, really? Okay. Guys, can I commentate? You know, when you guys interrupt me, I end up losing my train of thought. Although the uh, mini-map here is kind of nice, so you don't just think you can run around all over the place. So what was I saying before I was interrupted? I don't know. I forgot. Uh, something about helping Gramps. Uh, Forbidden Island. Oh, I know what I was going to say. The uh, demo. Uh... I got The Misadventures of Tronbon, which came out before this game, and it included a demo disc of Mega Man Legends 2, which of course I played. And I one of the things... Like oh my gosh, roll. And one of the things that was on uh, the demo was, uh, well it had three parts to it. One I believe was battling the intro boss that we already took care of. No, it wasn't even the intro boss. One of them was... they all had bosses. One was going through this area. Or at least part of this area, and then uh, fighting a boss. You guys are a nuisance. You know that? I kind of played the heck out of that demo, uh, which is kind of one of the main reasons I bought that game. I ended up not really caring for Misadventures of Tron Bomb, and um, I played through it... I, I kind of had to drag myself through it after I got to the point where I played it enough to know I didn't really care for the game. And, well, this looks morbid. You're not sure. I can see the... I can see the thing. Yes. Real people. Look at all these people. Lots of people. And another dropship. Let's go take a look at this dropship, because this character looks important. So, remember what that person looks like. So yeah, I didn't really care for Misadventures of Tron Bonnet. Just a lot of things I didn't care for the game. I mean, it was interesting that they tried something really different. But, uh, 
you know, just a lot of it was not my cup of tea. I found it all uh, to be pretty frustrating to play as a kid. And it really, I just wanted it to be a lot more like the Legends games than what it actually was as far as like being able to run around and explore at your leisure and pick up stuff. Which there was a little bit of that, very little bit of that in Misadventures of Tron Bon. You are a nuisance. No, get back here. You owe me money. Ah. Fine. Oh, it's uh it's boss time. Already? Oh no wait, this is the mini boss. We've got the mini boss and then we've got the big boss. Yeah, this is just the mini boss that we fight in the demo. And he reminds me a lot Magnet Head Dog. How do they come up with this? Uh, reminds me a lot of the dog bosses that we fight deep in the game of uh, the first Legends game. Fortunately, it doesn't take too many shots to knock this guy out, but uh, he can do quite a bit of damage to us. It's kind of hard to hit. Just let him kind of come to you. Use your rapid fire, pull off a few shots. Hey, look, there's down already. And make sure you don't get yourself too turned around. Fortunately, I love the map and compass system on this game. It's very nice. But yeah, I ended up uh, selling this Adventures of Tron Bon uh, a few years ago. It's because, I, like I said, once I finished the game uh, as a kid, or teenager rather, uh, I just finished it for the sake of finishing it. Didn't even finish it like 100% or anything. Cause I, like I said, there were things I just did not like about the game. But I finished it and I ended up selling it and I got like over $200 for the thing. I think it was even more than that. It might have been like, I think it was like around 215 Yeah, that sounds about right. And I was not unhappy about that. I don't see a Reaverbot. Stop interrupting me. I see a Reaverbot. What a complete and utter surprise. Oh, look, he's dead. I hear something else coming. It's interrupting me from picking up money. Can't get that money. I'm gonna take out my frustrations on you. Yeah, you better die right there so I can pick up all this money. So yes, this is the new thing we're doing. Giant mammoths. Or mastodons, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this is an interesting area. You cannot kill these guys, at least not right now, so don't uh, try. And you can't make them stop either. Ooh. Ah, that's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, you know what we need? We need those jet skates. Where's my jet skates? We have them. Let's use them. I think this is what they intend us to do. Or just take damage, that's... That's an option. And there's there's nothing over here. There's not a ton of treasure here, and you know, I thought once we clear this area, we can go back to it. There's really not a reason to. There's no, there's no special treasure or anything like I thought there would be. Uh, you can come back and see what this place looks like when it's all cleared out and there's not a huge snowstorm. It looks brighter and cheerier. I mean, there's that. 
the people we find frozen will also be gone because we rescue them. We're humanitarian like that. Uh, nope, I don't see Gramps' ship, but I do see this interesting looking refractor that I'm going to go try and grab. Uh, I just wanted money. It's not my fault. No, I'm not going to get out of here. I'm going to stand here. I could, but uh, now I can't, so I'm going to just keep standing here. Whoa, well, why didn't you tell me that was going to happen, Roll? It's basically just a giant mammoth. Uh, strategy for this thing, blast it. I think you want to avoid shooting the snout off. As I recall, that was a really bad timing on my part, but it worked out. Because I think if you shoot the snout off, his uh, spread attack there gets a bit more fierce. And more widespread and much harder to dodge, but uh, why not? We'll just demonstrate that. Well, that was uh, poorly timed. This guy's got a lot of health for us not having any uh, real... Oh, good special weapons. Oh, yeah, he starts doing that. Thought he had another attack. So I just hang out kind of close to him. Not that close, dude. And just try your best to avoid him and rapid fire blast him when you can. Uh, there, his attacks are getting more spread out. Takes a lot of hits to take down. And when you try to back away from him, that spray when it starts, <laughs> the ice spray when it starts going everywhere. Can really oh become a pain. I think he's upset with me. No, I can't reach him, but he can reach me. Once again, I like to go with the uh, range and the attack power on my Buster. That was a really bad time to jump. And he starts charging us. Oh! That's not the pause I needed. Uh, let's use our energy canteen. Oh, it comes with five. I didn't know we had that much. Okay, good. We're not quite dead yet. Oh, see? That thing would have killed us. Honestly, my uh, biggest issue with this boss battle is his health bar for him being the, what, third boss we fought? It just becomes a lengthy battle because we don't have any uh, really good special weapons yet. And you're dead. You're dead. You're supposed to be dead. Can you be dead? There we go. Whew. And we're not going to get any money from that. What a ripoff. The storm! It stopped! Yep, we killed the mammoth causing... the storm causing mammoth. And somehow the sulfur bottom is still in the air. After all the time we spent having to just get to this island. Oh, has it finally stopped? Oh, I thought we were gone. Earth was 
for sure. You're getting old, Beryl. That was nothing. Look at me. I'm fine. Show off. For all that money you spent on it, you think this flying wash tub of yours would have held up better? <clears throat> well, accidents happen. If we were ready for them, we wouldn't call them accidents, would we? Oh look, something's happening. And a couple weird people appear. And one isn't wearing clothes for some reason. Why? language there that's kind of cryptic and it still kind of remains that way it appears that miss yuna still does not intend to give you access to the keys mistress sarah what is she thinking her logic is as mysterious as was the masters you know what you have to do yes the directive of this unit is ensuring your safety very well the carbon strips. We must first recover the keys to the library. We can acquire and deal with the master's genetic code sample afterward. Understood. Lots of cryptic language that we need to unpack. Oh goody, more cutscenes. Liars. <laughs> searching for the mother load. 
For your safety, I recommend that you stay here on the ship. I'll just make Mega Man do it. Bring him here. Yes, sir. Told ya. You're not going to drag them into your escapades again, are you? Well, I just want to talk to them. They'll get involved with or without me. My, my. Mr. Mega Man, sir. Mr. Blucher would like to see you. Well, this part has been going on for quite a while, so we're going to leave it off here. Yeah, the cutscenes kind of made it go over. I'll see you guys next time.